Okay, so since I made my last video, uh, there have been three upgrades for the Photon Pro extension for Final Cut Pro, the plugin. And so I'll give it another go and just uh, try out the Photon Pro extension and compare it to the Neat Video plugin again um, with the updated version. And yeah, there are some bugs have been... Uh, reported and they reacted fairly quickly so they resolved two bugs for nvidia graphics cards and one for my amd graphics card uh, which apparently didn't render the way they're supposed to so uh, it works better now nothing else has changed so there's no new features or anything so the clip i'm using is the same as last time it's one of my son in very dark lights with a, an old camcorder so there's a lot of noise in the image as you can see and uh, i apply the two plugins so the two different versions of the clip i have here uh, the first plugin would be the photon pro plugin photon pro noise reduction and the other plugin would be need videos reduce noise to the second clip and um, for the first clip there's nothing much you can do the photon pro noise plugin has basically five things you can you can you can tinker with one is the luma noise reduction so the noise reduction in the luminescence of the of the image um, uh, this my advice is always just put the slider to zero and to 100 and see what it does and see what you need in this case i'll go with about 80 and then there's the chroma noise reduction uh, there's a lot of chroma noise in this image especially if you look a little closer here in the corners you can see that there's a lot of chroma noise here so i'll definitely pump this up to 100%. The spatial radius is just the radius of pixels uh, around which each pixel is smoothened. So if you put this up very high, you'll get a very smooth image. And uh, yeah, I can crank this up pretty high for this amount of noise here. So um, the last thing you can change here is the temporal radius. And this used to be a problem with the Photon Pro noise reduction. When I put it to zero before, it just took the current frame of the video and applied noise reduction on that frame and that wasn't enough uh, for the graphics card it didn't work in some way so it just produced strange noise uh, so you can tune this up and if you if you uh, put a, a higher number here for example three now it'll take the three images before and after this one and estimate what moves and estimate what shouldn't move so there's a lot better noise reduction you can see this this is making a huge difference here in this image yeah so this is uh basically what the plugin does there's the four the fifth little checkbox here which just uh, is a spatial mask that means that the edges of the frame are so the, the plugin tries to uh, see edges in the image and then preserve those if i turn this off uh, the edges here around my son's face will get very blurry so this does a pretty good job at keeping the edges fairly intact while smoothing out the rest of the video obviously uh, so this is the result um, the main advantage of this is it's fairly quickly so i can go through this in a few minutes and i uh, haven't lost any time and you can just see in the image it's quite all right it's not not as great as it was before and not as grainy as it was before this is what it looked like in the very beginning and then i apply the noise reduction and it is actually watchable although not great okay so the neat video plugin i'm applying to the exact same clip and uh, it also has a temporal radius meaning that you can have the three images before and after for example three frames before and after taken into, into account for your estimate but the main window is this one here and what i'm comparing it to first is the auto profile feature of the neat video plugin so this is what most people would use if they want a really quick fix so i just do auto profile and it'll try to pick one area that's fairly uniform and then um, it obviously gets noise from that and then in the in the noise filter settings this is what it looks like even filtered already you can still increase the amount of luminance noise reduction and the amount of chrominance i'm putting this to the same values now and then you can add some sharpening in the end you should be careful with that because if it's not, not perfectly if the noise isn't perfectly reduced this usually fails so uh, this is out of the box what the plugin would do i can say that it handles a lot faster so the response time on my very old computer is not as, as slow as for the photon pro plugin if i do this and apply it 
You can see that it also does a fairly good job at keeping the edges, but uh, in some areas, so it reduces the noise fairly well on this shirt, for example, and in the face, the skin tones and everything. But there are some areas in the image, for example, down here, or also down here, where the plugin thinks that there's a lot of detail there that it shouldn't remove. So uh, that's where the mask doesn't apply. Uh, so this is out of the box basically what uh, Neat Video does with the image. Now of course in Neat Video, uh, temporal radius I should set to 3, so it's the same same thing. But that doesn't change a lot. Um, yeah, still this is what it looks like. Um, so the, the main thing you should do if you want to dive into this more deeply is that you can set the mode to advanced mode and then you have a, a lot more things that you can tune you can add more areas that it should that the plugin sees as, as should be uniform and you can also tune a lot more in the noise filter settings here so i'll do that now i'll spool through it in the actual video because it'll take too long probably Okay, so uh, if I'll now render those out and also put the rendering times, times on the screen. And yeah, if you look at these two, you'll see that there's basically no competition when it uh, when when you really tweak the Neat Video plugin. The Neat Video plugin does a better job at canceling out the noise in this image. It's a fairly extreme image, and uh, I still say I'll still say that the auto function of the Neat Video plugin doesn't work as fine as as nice as the Photon Pro plugin version. And the Photon Pro keeps the edges still a little better, in my opinion. It's not the sharpening in, in Neat Video is not as good as the one in Photon Pro. Of course, you can apply manual sharpening afterwards as well. So um, yeah, this is the comparison between the two. Um, they're both fairly slow on my very old graphics card, so uh, they both work on the graphics card. And on both graphics card, if you have a, a new Mac Pro, and on the one graphics card you have, so you can see that it, it gets a lot faster if you if you go into better graphics cards. Uh, this is a comparison between the two. I mean, there's a huge price difference between those two plugins, and as an easy fix, I think the Photon Pro plugin is still very good. Um, but if you want to get serious and want to get down and uh, change everything accordingly, then uh, yeah, the neat video plugin is still the way to go in my opinion. Okay, this is it. Thanks. I hope this one is a little shorter than the other.